Couples, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a whole tutorial and also review as I go along using the products from Tarte's new mermaid line. So Tarte came out with a beautiful palette. They also came out with all these mermaid inspired brushes, which I'll show within the video. Some really cool glitter, which I am currently wearing right now. Again, I did another colorful look and I'm super proud. FYI, I am not naked. I'm just in a tube top dress because it is finally getting hot here in LA. The weather's been so weird and right now it is 85 and I am loving it. So I'm really excited about this collection. Again, I've been dipping into color and just jumping out the box and I'm so happy because I've been having the best time doing it. No lie, when I was doing this whole look, I was like, oh, it's starting to look a little ugly, but it all came out together so nice. Like I'm super proud how I've been like jumping out the box doing color. Before you go, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to subscribe. Well, not before you go, but before you get into the look, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Also click that bell. Some of you informed me in the comments last in my last video, which I really appreciate that now YouTube did another change where if you click the bell, now it says always or sometimes, something like that. If you wanna see me all the time or just sometimes, I'm like, why? Like, why are they doing that? Then what's the point of the bell? If you're gonna put even more restriction on the bell, I really appreciate it because my videos are not showing up on a ton of your feeds and it's really frustrating. So go check that out because I just did another colorful look using Patrick Starr's new spring collection. Really didn't think it was gonna work for me and then when I put it on, I was amazed the whole video. I was like, oh my gosh, this kit is perfection, especially coming from someone who doesn't wear color. All right, guys, I'm gonna zoop and let's get into the tutorial and the look that I did today. I am so excited about it and I hope you guys are too. So whoop, we're gonna get into this baby right here. This palette is called Bay Mermaid and Make Waves Packaging A+. I love how it's not squishy, it feels really sturdy. And then here's the color selection right there. I love how they're still wearable, but they still have like those pretty like aquatic tones. So I am going to be using the mermaid brushes today, but there's no fluffy brush. The only brush that I can really use for the crease is this one right here. But I'm probably gonna use that on the outer V because it's not that fluffy. Let's first dip into a sandbar. I'm gonna dip into this one right here. I love how the names are on the palette itself. I don't like it when brands put the names of the palette on the clear slip that it comes with because that that slip's always RIP, it's gone. I haven't played with too many Tarte eyeshadows. The last eyeshadows I played from Tarte were from the Treasure Box, or I forgot it was from the Christmas collection. I thought that their kits were all really good because a lot of the times people ask like, oh, are the kits and all of that good quality as their like regular collection? Because sometimes, um, you know, the quality for some reason hasn't been the best for kits with a lot of brands, but this year, Everything was bomb and I always love like their blush palettes that they come out with. It's always like a must every year. All right, that blowed out really nicely just using this because my mirror's a little bit further away and it's so cute. Let me show you guys this. It says 99% mermaid. I don't know if you guys can see that, but very cute touch on the mirror. I feel like all the mirrors on palettes never say anything. So this is the first time I see something on a mirror. Does any other palette have that? Now I'm curious. This shade right here, it's called a Frosé. It's like a peachy pink. I'm gonna finally use one of the mermaid brushes. I think these are so cute. I'm gonna use a pencil brush. I don't know, I just wanna try it out just for, oh no, it's gonna work out. Cause I just wanna hit this color on the inner corner. Well, the inner one third of the eye. Wow, that's much more pigmented than <laughs> what I thought it was gonna be. It looks really nice. Legit, like a couple strokes and it's like, woo. And that's what she said. <laughs> I actually really like this pencil brush because now, at first I didn't think I wanted to use it because I, I usually use pencil brushes for my inner corner, but this actually worked out, especially for a, sh a shimmer sh especially for a shimmer shade, just because it's like more precise. I don't know, I kind of really like bubbles because bubbles is kind of like that blue, purple-ish kind of look. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, look at that. <gasps> That's pretty cool. I'm just playing around, you guys. I'm literally just winging this look. Wow, that's actually really pretty for the entire lid. Maybe I should have done that. Maybe we'll just blend that right into the peach. Okay, now I'm just gonna cover the whole peach because I really like this shade. This is really pretty. Sorry about it. With makeup, it's supposed to be fun, trial and error, and just switching it up to your liking. Wow, I really love that. Look how pretty and reflective that looks. Plus I've never had like this type of shade on my lid before on my channel. You guys know I've been doing more colorful looks and you guys have been really excited about it. So I'm happy that you guys are like, yes, step into color, wear color, look at that. So next we're gonna go into Lagoon. I know, very daring for me because I wanna use this brush. Reminds me of like a Sigma E35. So let's see what this baby looks like on the outer portion. 
oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm using blues. Like, who am I? Just show you like a regular swatch right there. Like, look at that. That's really pretty right there. And then let me do a regular swatch of bubbles. I don't know what you consider like a regular swatch, but you know, just on its own, just so you guys can see that. But since I put this blue on the outer portion, it's like giving this beautiful reflective feel. Okay, I'm bringing it a little bit down low. I'm not trying to look like, I don't know, give myself a droopy lid. So let's bring that baby up. Uh, this brush is okay. It's not bad. It's not as fluffy as, as I would like it to be. It's definitely not bad. I feel like this is really good for a more defined crease, you know, like right in the middle just to kind of blow out right in the direct crease. Did I just, am I even explaining things right? I'm trying to see where we go with this look. I'm just like not used to blues, so right now I'm getting a, a little scared. Back into sandbar and just blow that out. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put that peachy color on my inner corner because I can kind of see I didn't cover it all up. And it's like peeping through and I love the way that looks. So I'm gonna keep the look like this. I don't wanna add too much color because I don't wanna scare myself to be quite honest. Let's see where we go. So let me put on my wing liner and I'll be right back. Okay guys, one million years later, it really was a struggle to do my wing liner today for some reason. So Tarte came out with some mermaid lashes and I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of scared about it. I'm like, so this is what they look like. At least they have some black in them. At least they're not like all colorful. Okay guys, so I went ahead and put the lashes and I will say I'm very pleasantly surprised because when I saw them, I was like, ooh, I don't know about these. They look kind of like clownish, but when you put them on, once you, because you have your own lashes, I put on mascara. I put on, my favorite is my, this is my Holy Grail waterproof mascara, high-end. The only high-end mascara I always repurchase. Lights, camera, splashes, it always is super waterproof. I want to show you guys this one though. They did repackage their regular uh, lights, camera, lashes. The waterproof is called Splashes, super cute. I really thought that they should have repackaged the splashes because mermaid, water, ocean, waterproof. You know, because, I mean, mermaids got to, you know, slay their lashes too. So I really wish because that they would have repackaged the splashes because every single brand, whenever they repackage something or do something special, it's always for their regular line. And I just wish, like, for this line, it would have been appropriate to do the splashes because no one ever gives love to, like, the waterproof mascaras and I'm a waterproof lover. Going back to the lashes, they don't look as bad as what I thought they were going to look. Like, it's just, like, little pops of color. Now I'm going to go on to the rest of my face. Of course, Tarte Shape Tape shade medium oh my gosh my love i'm obsessed with this concealer i don't use as much as i used to before before i used to go like really ham sigma 3d hd blender and yeah a little goes a long way i think i just got concealer happy i just want to make sure i cover all my dark circles but with this product you don't have to bring it all the way like everywhere and i feel like when i was using too much i was drying out my own eye i'm like why does it look dry all of a sudden it's because i'm using like 50 million pounds of concealer but i mean this still is considered quite a bit but it spreads out really well as you can see so i'll bring it like to my chin and then a little down my nose just to help you know highlight just like a bit because i am self tanned right now and then I'll just bring like a little to my forehead. I don't do too much of that, but whenever I have like excess, then I do it. See, just brings a little bit of light to the face. It just brightens me up. I got enough sleep, like it's amazing. Wow, concealer does wonders. I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder, I'm like, <laughs> hello. Now that I went ahead and set that under eye area, I'm gonna go in with Splash right here. Just like a really pretty green shade. Let's do a little swatch so I can show you. Right here. That's what it looks like. I'm just gonna stick a little bit of color underneath there. You know, something new. You guys, I've been totally into color. I'm sure all of you are completely shocked, like what, you did not grab a neutral palette? There are wearable shades in here, but I was like, don't do it, Lizzie. Even though I was like, must dip into neutral, but I didn't want to. I'm really getting into color, you guys. I'm more open. I'm free. Plus the whole collection is a mermaid collection, so why not go with a the theme? Now I'm gonna pop into that inner corner, the color uh, Frosé, that one, that first one that I laid on my lid where I was like, mm, I'm gonna cover you. To bring some light to the eye as well. I don't wanna forget to hit those bottom lashes. I just freaking broke this right here. That sucks. This is my It, Co well, my it Cosmetics Airbrush. Uh, Air, airbrush Perfecting Powder Illumination. I love this one. This one's in medium tan. I'm going to be using one of these brushes. They are a little flimsy, so I figured this one is good for like a nice light set. I just wish it was a little bit more dense. I feel like I, I don't feel me pushing the product into my skin. Let's do a sweep. Let's do a sweep motion. 
Yeah, this is better. I do have a mermaid lash curler and look how cute that is. I love it. I think the tails are so cute. Let's kind of bring these lashes in and bring them to my natural. Okay, that was a little scary, not gonna lie. Cause I didn't really cut these lashes. So they're really going from like inner corner to outer corner all the way. Okay, there we go. Give some oomph. Now I have two last brushes I'm going to be using. Now this one is a little bit more dense and I could use this for bronzer blush. I could even use this to set, but I figured I'll use like the larger one for the set. And this one I really wanna use for contour just because it is more dense. And then this one I could definitely use for highlight or also for blush, but I love dual fibers for blush because I'm someone where I have a pretty, no, I'm someone where I do have a heavy hand on blush. So I like to use dual fibers cause it, cause it kind of helps me in the process of applying it. So I'm not just like, doo, 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 doo. you know, like super clown, but I don't know, I'm just a blush lover. We're gonna take my Max Give Me a Sun right here and we're gonna use this brush just to kind of bronze around the face yeah this one feels good for bronzer just place that all over kind of just warming it up because like I said I am self tan okay maybe this isn't hold on I think I went too intense on that oh my gosh hold on <laughs> you know why it's because I'm not using I'm not used to using this brush and it is a little large to hit these areas let me, ju I'll just have to blend it out. Where's that other one? I definitely need to blend that out because that was looking terrible. Oh my gosh. I want bronzer heavy. It's because that brush is more dense so it just like picked up a lot. Okay, that's looking better. It's more, more blended. I had like a freaking helmet, so. <laughs> Cause look how low that went. I have to take like my sponge and kind of go like that. That's what I do like when I make a mistake with my bronzer and I bring it down too low. I kind of just bring it like this. You know, like really sexy. Wasn't too bad here. And then I'll just like blend it out with my normal brush. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. I'm under control. Now for blush, I'm gonna take Max Warm Soul with this brush right here. Yeah, I love dual fibers for blush. Just helps blow out the blush a little bit more. Just like, <laughs> I can't stop. For the collection, they have the Tardis lip paint in the shade Expose. And I said in my PR haul, I'm pretty sure I have this already, but in a small size. But this shade is totally me. Like this is my type of shade, like perfection. You know what, I am gonna add highlights. I haven't used this one from Becca yet. This one is in the shade Prismatic Amethyst. And I figured this would probably be appropriate because it's kind of like opalescent. And well, let's see if it's appropriate or not. And let's just kind of, I mean, cause you, ooh. You guys, I am a loving color. Thumbs up for me, like using color. Wow, and just like having the whole mix of everything, even with the lashes, it is not scary. Like I'm telling you, I would be able to wear this out. Cause like I said, I get scared sometimes. Let's bring like a little down the nose. I don't know how I'll feel about it though, but it's more light in shade where I don't think it'll scare me. Okay, so here's the look up close and I'm super excited just because it's still colorful, really nice and wearable. I'm really happy. I'm really proud of myself for the look that I came up with because you know when you hit that ugly stage of makeup, I was kind of hitting that once I like put on the second shade and I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? So far, I'm really happy uh, with everything. I would have to say the only thing I'm kind of disappointed in are the brushes. I feel like they just need to be more dense. They're too loose. Actually, no, I liked them all except this one. This is like the setting brush is probably like my least favorite, but all of these were okay because I loved the pencil brush. This one was good, except it was a little stiff, I will say that. This one worked well and this one too, I just need to get used to it, you know, because I'm not used to this brush. It was a little bit large for, to do contour. I was just trying to use all the brushes, that's why. Now, in the collection, they do come out with some jewels that you can put on your face, like you can put these ones on the side. That's really cute. They're also selling like this little glitter pack and this one is just called a mermaid sequence. I'm not sure what the actual packaging looks like when you buy it, but this was just sent like this in the PR package. And then also some a glitter gel right here. And in the PR haul, was saying just smelling this and seeing this like it's just so nostalgic for me because I was obsessed with glitter gels like I used to put it all over my face when I was a kid like I would put it right over here like this just to add a little something you know like a little glitter right here let's do it let's do it see look how cute that is <gasps> look how cute and then another thing is I used to put it in my hair 
like this and then I would have glitter in my hair like when I would have my hair put back in a ponytail but look how cute like that little looks right there oh my gosh it's just like really exciting just I don't know the the gel pot just brought me back so many memories and then they also have these really cool gems that you can put like on your body right here right here and again I am not naked you could probably even cut these and customize them if you want to put put them other places but I think it would look kind of cool on the chest maybe like on the neck that would look really cool but I feel like this is so appropriate for like Coachella because everybody goes all out. But look how pretty that glitter looks. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Well, that is going to be it for today's video. I just want to show you everything from the collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, again, don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up if you guys enjoy this video. It really helps my channel out. Also, click that notification bell and make sure that when you click it, not, now there's like these new options saying if you want me to show up like all the time or sometimes. And I'm like, really? Like YouTube is trying to like play us. I don't not know why they're doing that but make sure that you're notified and it puts always or else I'm not always going to show up in your feed even when you click the freaking bell now but some of you already told me in the comments I'm like are you serious it's just so crazy but I really appreciate the support and I hope you guys enjoy this final look and I will see you guys in the next one Mwah. Woo -woo. to be a mermaid that was a mermaid swimming off here we go it's all about you it's all about me it's all about what we do Making art, you and me Trying to find something to believe